everyone! Welcome back to our modded create series where Blockdown and I are transforming this island into a create lovers sanctuary. In between episodes, I set up some of our chipped workbenches in the storage room, and I found some bunnies in the forest that I brought home to my base and started breeding up. So I want to start off today's episode by building up a little place for our bunnies to live and also gathering all the sheep and cows on the island. That way we can actually start making some proper meals. And I mean, we do owe block down some hamburgers. Hold on, let's make a trowel before we make this. Trowels are so awesome because they just place random blocks from your hotbar, so it's great to make little broken down walls like this. All right, time to go get the cows and sheep. Let's do this. All right, just mind your step. Don't look at that. That's not where you're going. All right, and that takes care of that. But getting sheep and cows and rabbits together was not the point of this episode. I have 26 levels on my hotbar right now and I wanna make that level 30. I need enchanted gear if I'm gonna transform this entire island. Down here in the caves, let's see if we can find a dungeon so we can turn the spawner into an XP farm. I didn't explore too much of this the other day when I got these running shoes. Oh my God, diamonds. Let's go get those. Wait, if I leave those there and I come back with fortune three on my pickaxe. Yeah, let's leave those there for now and then we'll come back when we have fortune. Oh man, there's more diamonds over here, but there's also so many mobs. Oh my gosh. Just gonna keep looking for spawners and unfortunately nothing yet. Oh man, this is kind of disappointing. I don't see any spawners or any dungeons down here. Oh my God, there are so many mobs chasing me. I wish they'd just fight each other. Oh my God. Wait, what is this? Is this the stronghold? Oh my gosh, there's so many mobs down there. Oh no, oh no. I don't want to die again. Blockdown will never let me live it down. Oh my God, I'm so low. All right, I'm going under it and I'm going to break up into it. Oh wait, I think I can get in right here. Okay, let's just light that up. And what will we have in here? Oh my God, oh my God. All right, let's kill these guys really quick. Oh my gosh, this looks massive. Oh my God, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm going to get blocked down and I'm coming back. Oh, the loot goblin in me says to check under these things. It looks like little graves. Oh, name tags and enchanted swords. Okay, okay, he will definitely come help me, right? I have an idea. I'm gonna bring him some hamburgers and then I'm gonna make him come help me clear out this structure and find all the spawners and that way we can make an XP farm. Okay, I have one beef, but I think we can cut that up. So let's just drop some of this stuff in here in this chest. Oh my gosh. I need to take this all over to the storage room. All right, so let's get this on the cutting board and we can chop it and then we can put it directly in our frying pan and that'll cook. Then we just need to get some cabbage leaves, some onion, here's some tomato, and then we just gotta make some bread. Then all together with our cooked meat, we can make hamburgers. Oh wait, didn't I have more beef in here? Awesome, okay. If I make him like a bunch of hamburgers, he will absolutely go for this, right? I just sent him a DM, I hope he comes over. I guess now we just have to wait. And actually while we're waiting, I'm gonna make some more iron armor. I think I need a helmet as well because I was taking a lot of damage down there and I don't wanna die again. And I guess I should probably breed up our cows and sheep too. We're gonna need a lot of leather. Froggy? No, Blocky! I'm good, I'm good. I'm just uh, responding to your message. You you were asking for help. Obviously brought you a gift. Oh, it's a cow. Yeah. I already have some cows over here. Wait, you said don't kill the cows, so I saved this one and... Yeah, well, you took so long bringing it over, I just went and got my own. Oh, so I can, I can kill that one? I did message you because I do need help. Right. Well, okay, you know how I told you I was gonna try to find some a way to, for us to get XP because we need to enchant. I mean, let's be real. We have stone and iron tools, like. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not great. I found this structure down below and it had so many mobs in it and I'm a little bit scared to go in there by myself. It's something dangerous. Yeah, it's, it's really dangerous. I almost died. And you called me for help. Two is better than one. Yeah, I suppose so. And look, I made you this. Burgers. Burgers? Okay, you're right. Yeah, I'll definitely help. I'll definitely ever get free burgers. Burgers for life. I help you in a dangerous dungeon. Since he finally agreed, I brought Blockdown into the caves down below. 
Wait, this isn't the stronghold? No, it's a dungeon. You can have dangerous go- Ooh, loot! Oh. Well, I already looted some of this, okay? But look, there's all sorts of treasures and scary stuff, and there's creepers. Is this the XP farm that you've made? No, this is not the XP farm, but I was hoping we could find spawners in here, and then we can move them up to the surface. How the heck do we move spawners? You have muscles, right? You're big and strong. You could probably move them, right? Oh, name tag. Another name tag. Another name tag. They call me Mr. Name Tag. Oh, a name tag. Oh, we're going to name so much stuff. Oh, I found a spawner. It's a spider spawner. Did we just break it? No. And then Blockdown must have just activated all the power in his muscles because suddenly he just picked it up. You're stronger than me. I can't pick it up. Well, maybe we can go over this way and we can climb up here and then we can dig out. This was a tar of white. This is not worth burgers. It is worth burgers because you're so strong and and I'm helping. Ooh. So I guess I'll just start mining. Yeah, get me out of here, damn it. So Blockdown held the spawner while I mined up and now we had a spawner on top of our island so we can make an XP factory. But one spider spawner wasn't really enough for a factory, so I went and found a zombie spawner, and then I found two skeleton spawners as well. And of course, I brought them all home so I could move them into the factory. Before I could start building the factory though, I needed to head back down into the caves to a geo that me and Blockdown found to pick up some amethyst shards. On the way out, I grabbed some granite and diorite, and then I hopped into a boat to head over to the taiga I found in episode 1, looking for an azalea tree for a lush cave. When I found one, I grabbed all of the azalea leaves because they're so pretty, and of course I grabbed some rooted dirt and headed down into the lush cave to grab a bunch of clay. And of course, we were going to be smelting these into bricks. I got a huge haul of things from the lush cave, then I turned my clay blocks back into clay balls, and then I smelted those up in our furnaces, and then I went to check out this little structure over here that I saw block down built, and it appeared to be an iron and flint farm. That was pretty cool, but that wasn't the reason why I was there. I grabbed his little plane so I could head back to the jungle biome we found last time as I need some cocoa beans for brown dye for our factory. Back at the island, I collected up all the sugar cane that we'd been growing and then did another round of cow breeding. And then I hit up the caves one more time for one last round of diorite, andesite, and calcite as I didn't think I had enough from earlier for the entire factory. And now that I had finally everything that I needed to build this factory, I started building it on my side of the island near the shore. This kind of industrial style is pretty out of my comfort zone, so I just want to say a huge shout out to Alexander over on ArtStation who gave the inspo for this build and I'll link him down in the description. This is my first time ever building in this style, so let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you like it. And once all the blocks were placed, we had a factory that looked a little bit like this. And even though the outside is done, the inside's not. So let's get to work on the inside and get rid of that ugly scaffolding. So the first thing I definitely want to do is get the grass out so we can get a floor in here. And for the floor, we're going to be using cut deep slate and cut deep slate bricks from the create mod. At least I hope so. I hope that they look good. Although I am kind of liking how they look together. It's sort of industrial, but kind of soft as well. I'm definitely not going to have enough deep slate to do the whole floor though. So I've got some more smelting over in the storage room. And while we wait for all of that to smell, I want to add a chimney right here. I want to add like a big two by two one. I feel like that looks very industrial. Of course, we'll get our campfires down as well. And I can't really stop from adding like the overgrown aspect of things because that makes the build at least feel a little bit more like mine. So I'm going to add some leaves here and then finishing up getting the rest of the floor in feels really, really good in this space. Now for the actual farm, we're going to be needing quite a bit of kelp as we're going to have to make some belts and you make belts with six dried kelp. So we're going to have to smelt this up and oh my gosh, I'm going to drown actually. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think in total we're going to need like 12 or 13 of these. So we've still got a while to go for smelting. And because I'm procrastinating putting in like the create parts of this farm, I'm going to just breed the cows really quickly. And I'll bring one of these spawners back over to the factory so I can test the farm and make sure it works before I bring them all over. But now it's time to actually put in the create part of this farm because I'm going to be using belts to move the zombies and skeletons and stuff down into a spot where we can swipe them. Obviously for that we're going to need some power. So some water wheels will do just fine. In front I'm going to dig a little trench for the water to go. And on the top, I'm going to hold back the water with the trapdoors. I'm going to swap the direction of the signal with a gearbox, and then I'm going to put a large cog with a small cog connected to it. 
and repeat this a couple times. That way we can actually speed up our rotation. Now I just want to see how fast this is going to go. So let's put that there. And that is moving pretty good. I don't know if you have to put water on every single one, but I'm going to do that really quickly. Now that we have some power being generated by the belts, I just want to make sure that we have the dark room ready to go. So I have this tinted glass that I'm going to use here. Unfortunately, this won't be like a perfect nine by nine spawner box, but we're going to use the space that we have and try to make it as good as we can make it. Then for our mob moving belts, we're going to add a temporary shaft there and then the real one going here. Then we need another couple going along this direction that are going to push all the mobs into basically one spot. Although now that I'm looking at this, how am I going to get the power to go up there? My brain is not good at problem solving problems like this, so I might need a minute to figure this out. Okay, I haven't been able to figure it out, but I think if I finish the outside of the farm and put all the belts and stuff in, then I'll know exactly where I need to move stuff to. Let's slap down all these belts because we're going to have to get these all going and spinning in the right direction as well. And maybe to get this spinning, we can just do something like this. That's going the wrong way. Okay, so we need a gearbox somewhere, but I don't know where to put it. Create absolutely melts my brain, so I'm going to figure this out and then I'll bring you back. I am not comfortable admitting how long that took me to figure out, but I've got everything spinning and moving now and I've got the spawner in. So hopefully we end up seeing some skeleton spawn. Oh, there we go. Okay, and he's on the belt. It looks like that part is working and he's getting dropped right here. All right, perfect. All right, well, I'm going to get some more XP while I swipe at these skeletons. And also, I'm going to bring the other spawners over and build over our create power. And then I'll bring y'all back in a minute. All right, we're back a short while later. I've done some terraforming out here on the outside just to make this a little bit easier to navigate. And I've done a little bit of detailing as well. I love these little cogwheels on the front, even though they don't do anything. I just love that detail. It's so cute. The best part though is that the farm is working. I have 38 levels and there's even more mobs here for me to kill. There's only a few things left on the to-do list until this project is done. One of them is coming over here and grabbing some iron. Wow, 55, that's quite a bit. And then this next part, I am not super happy about, but we're gonna have to breed the cows one more time. And you could probably guess what comes next. Oh, I hate this part so much. Sorry, cows. And after all of that, I think that we might have enough leather. We have 11 in here. Oh, we have 50, that's perfect. The reason I went and got this iron was so that we can make these garage doors. And these are so, so cool. When you open and close them by right clicking, it looks like a real garage door. I think that's just so cool. Now in this little garage area is actually where I want to put the enchanting table. So we'll place down all of our bookshelves that we crafted. And now let's try to enchant our pickaxe. Efficiency four, fortune? Mm, just efficiency four. Okay, well. I came prepared because I have a grindstone. So let's try that again. Let's try to get fortune. I'm breaking three. No. Okay, one more time. We have one more time. This time it's gonna be fortune, I know it. Fortune three, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, let's try our luck one last time. We'll make another pickaxe and then we'll try to get like efficiency so we can combine them. Oh, this is perfect. We can combine these two pickaxes in an anvil. You know, I think I'm going to use the last of my diamonds to make an axe really quick and enchant that as well. Oh, wait, I don't have 30 levels, obviously. Okay, well, I will be enchanting an axe once I get the levels, but first we need to decorate the inside of this place. On the sides here, I want to get some beams in and of course we're going to strip them. And the cool thing about the mods is that we can vein mine strip them. Now, I think I want to do kind of like a cross beam over here. And then here I want to use some trap doors to cover this part of the farm so that you can't see into it. I've been swiping for so long that I have enough for my axe, but fortune's not really what I want. So we're just going to get rid of that. And then over here, I was thinking we could add like some little shelves, kind of like factory shelves for storage. And over here, I want to add another one just up against the wall. And this time we'll strip those down and add our trap doors. And I think this will be the perfect place to just have a little bit of barrels and chests and maybe like a flower pot or something. So let's add a couple of chests and barrels and stuff like that out here. And then here on the very edge of the farm, I'm just going to put some spruce planks to block it off. You don't really need to see inside into the water wheel stuff. 
How about a lantern there as well? And then up above, we can have a couple of barrels and also some leaves. Well, that's not how I meant to put the leaves, but like this. It would not be a froggy build without some flower pots dotted around. And I think up here we can do some extra leaves hanging down just for some more ambiance. And honestly, it may not be very super industrial, but I really kind of like how this looks. I mean, it is very far outside my comfort zone, but I actually love it. And the very last thing I want to do today is put down some copper onto the smasher things in Blockdown's Create Workshop that he made. And we can use that to make some fluid pipes. Oh, you get four of them. Oh, that's nice, actually. And even though it doesn't fully make sense, I just want to add some fluid pipes going along the bottom of this just because I feel like it needs something extra. And I really like that detail in my inspiration picture. And I mean, it's Minecraft. Not everything has to make sense, right? Anyways, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this episode. I had so much fun building this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!